welcome to the Coach Tyler Show. Golazo! 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 Welcome to another episode of the Coach Tyler Show. Remember this show, we talk all things soccer. I'm your host, Coyote McKinnon. I um, want to quickly remind you that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Hi to all of you who are now making your way into, into this live podcast that is on YouTube and Facebook and also Instagram. So before anything else, I want to take this time also um, from the Coach Kayo Show and the KMSA um, development program um, to wish you all wish you all the best um, in in 2024. May uh, the favor and the blessing of our of our Almighty God be um, bestowed upon you and you walk into this new season or like I say, this new cycle with a new idea, with a, um, with a understanding of your purpose so that you can um, truly have a clear roadmap to how you're gonna achieve what is it you believe in your heart you need to achieve. So <clears throat> thanks again um, for all your support, um, thanks again for sharing through 2023, liking and doing whatever you can to make sure that this message uh, reach uh, the hearts of our young people. Like we said, this show, the objective of this show, while it's all things, um, speaking all things soccer, is to influence and have an impact on our young people. <coughs> through the game of soccer um, to live out their purpose. And it's we know it's it's very important because, you know, when we look at soccer, oftentimes it's it's kicking a ball or running on a field or uh, becoming physically fit or reading and understanding game, reading and understanding the game. But there's a bigger capacity, excuse me, that oftentimes, oftentimes we don't touch and, and it's part of uh, helping our young people, even adults, to really maximize their potential. So we want to continue to do that. Um, please do share, um, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet, the Kaido McKinnon and Co. And um, hit the notification bell so you know when we're on. Um, you can also look at this show on Facebook Live and Instagram or Spotify Anchor, wherever you look, wherever you get your podcasts. Nevertheless, this is a very in interesting topic tonight that I'm very excited about. Um, and I believe it's um, it's a life-changing, um, it's a life-changing moment because of me coming to the realization and understanding of how important um, this aspect of your life is, it, it creates in a new dimension. It creates a level of peace. It creates a level of understanding that if you are really and truly going to grow and, and to be um, the measure of success that was ordained for you, um, and, and again, the measure of success that was ordained for you, that you are sanctified for, because not everything that looks successful is successful. Not every door is an open door. It could also be a portal. Um, so you've, when you understand this, you, you can really um, function within the capacity that you can really... Um, fulfill purpose and have um, a more uh, more fulfilled life so we want to talk about 
um, the value of um, attitude to altitude. The value of attitude to altitude. And I'm excited already um, what we're going to dive into and, and hopefully um, our young people, our young soccer players can really <clears throat> utilize this as they move forward, as they continue to challenge themselves to be uh, the best that they can be. But before we, we jump into that, you know, quickly to introduce and reintroduce our merch, um, our merch to you, the, the KMXVI merch, uh, please do continue to support, share, um, do whatever you can to help us to continue to, to, to move uh, this thing forward. So a quick interruption, then we'll jump back in, tell a friend, share, invite a friend, let them know that we're on and we're about to talk about something that I believe will blow your minds. So we'll be right back after this quick break. Coyote, McKinnon and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote, McKinnon and company. We care. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. Coyote here. The value, the value of attitude to altitude. We look at value, you know, thinking about my own attitude first and foremost, and 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 being reflective um, <clears throat> in not just what this year, but I think you know, respectfully, most of us we need to do reflection, you know, beyond just a year, beyond 365 days, because when we really do an introspection of our lives, there's there, there are obvious, obviously things that we, we all struggle with. There's things that we consistently go through and we don't understand. Um, there's things that are in our DNA that we don't, we weren't necessarily responsible for, um, because we were unaware. <clears throat> but there's things that has happened to us that, you know, there's no justification for, and we're still searching for answers. So reflection um, for some people can be limited to a week; it could be limited to a year, but you know, if something is consistently happening, maybe you need to reflect uh, a, a bit deeper <clears throat> to fully, um, to truly understand. So when I looked at, you know, look at my own attitude and, and, and really peeling back things and and, and, and trying to uh, to figure out this, this way forward within this new cycle and thinking again about the young people that, I work with the, the young athletes that I work with and how I could be a better leader, be um, and better communicate, um, better have, an, have a better impact and influence on their lives so that they can really maximize um, their full potential. I, I thought about this thing, this, this value of attitude and, and, and how, how it plays such a major role you know, in our, in our altitude. So when I looked at value and I, I said, and what is, what is value? A lot of people talk about it. They said, you know, in football, soccer, wherever you're from, you know, we speak a lot about core values and values 
to me is the usefulness of, excuse me, the usefulness of. And then I said, okay, so if value is the useful is the usefulness of, then how do we break down attitude? Like what, how do we, how do I define attitude? Because um, if I be honest, there's, there's, I, before I look to the dictionary, I, as a believer in the, in the Lord and Savior Christ Jesus, I oftentimes, when I'm when I'm searching for things and and trying to understand, because things can become very common. Respectfully, you know, a lot of things can become very common, and things can become very linear. And for me, my God has a big capacity; He's not limited um, to. Um, to one thing, there's so much mysteries within him that we have not uh, truly, you know, we don't truly and fully understand. So there's, for me, there's always more to, to whatever, uh, however things are being defined, you know. To some people, no, it don't make sense. And that is respectful. But I thought about this and it's, when you talk about attitude, it's a subtle way of thinking or feeling that you, there's a reflective behavior within that. So it's a subtle way of thinking and feeling which reflects in one's behavior. So value, usefulness of. Usefulness of. Attitude. A subtle way of thinking or feeling. Okay? that is reflective in one's behavior. So your attitude is based on what your obviously or oftentimes what your behavior look like. So you might, <laughs> this is interesting. You might want to, you might want to say that whatever you are doing is not really you. Fair enough. But can I submit to you, that might not necessarily be true. Because whatever you settle on in terms of your thinking or your feeling, it reflects in your behavior and it is determined and it is defined as your attitude. The value of attitude to altitude. And then we look at altitude, and I just, I just said, you know what? This speaks to elevation. Altitude speaks to elevation. Usefulness of, and I, you know, I, I put it together, and I said it's the usefulness of a subtle, a subtle way of thinking or feeling, right? that is reflective in one's behavior that creates elevation. So when you talk about the value of attitude to altitude is the usefulness of a subtle way of thinking, right? A subtle way of thinking or feeling that is reflective in one's behavior that creates elevation. So in order for us to, to have a good representation or to be able to reflect on if our attitudes are where it's supposed to be or not, we have to look at our behavior and where it's taking us. Please share. Please share. Please share. Um, that I, as I thought about this, you know, I really had to look deep within um, myself. And I believe that we oftentimes look past a lot of things because, <laughs> excuse me, 
if I can be honest, it's a lot of things we do, we can justify based on what has happened to us and based on how we feel. We can justify it. If you ask anyone right now, um, the reason why they did something or why they're doing something, they can justify it. The question is, is it an altitude? Is it an attitude? Um, is it a value of an attitude to altitude? You might be, it might be yes. But if you haven't really done a true reflection on yourself, is it possible that you are missing an opportunity to elevate, to grow, to be um, the best version of who you're supposed to be, to accomplish what you're supposed to accomplish. There are many young people who are playing the game of soccer. They are making, they're making efforts. They are going overseas. They are going to camps. They are, they are training in in hype in in supposedly high performance environment. With all due respect to everyone, but yet they're still looking for something because uh, they're not really getting to where they want to be. Can I submit to you? Maybe, just maybe, it is the attitude within you, within the environment that is slowing down that process or actually stopping it. Not saying it, not saying it is. I'm saying what if it is? What an opportunity to, to be able now to go and reflect. The usefulness of a subtle way of thinking and feeling that is reflective in one's behavior that creates elevation. Elevation. The value of attitude to altitude. You know, when, when I was young, you, you knew immediately that your attitude was wrong. Um, based on the burning of your skin, how how much your skin was burning, you knew that your attitude was wrong. Because back then, I believe parents understood the true measure of spare the rod and spoil the child. So it didn't take you long you didn't need to reflect. <laughs> you really didn't need to reflect. Your skin felt different. And you knew right there and then something was wrong with your attitude. That feeling was a clear indicator that your behavior was wrong. It was unbecoming. Your attitude was unbecoming. And your behavior was poor. Obviously, times have changed. And some of you who have... Uh, some of you who grew up in that type of, of space and time, you, you remember some of the things that indicated to you that your attitude was incorrect and something is coming, you know. You will hear, okay, just one more time I'll say it. <laughs> so there was there was always something that was preparing you, um, preparing you for what was coming. I will say it, I will say it one more time. Or I'm, I'm going to call you one more time. 
And then a lot for a lot of us, when you didn't want to do something or you was tired and you had to keep going, you better fix your face. So some some of us who've been in that type of environment um, understood those things weren't a representation of an attitude that will obviously uh, create the type of elevation. The attitude didn't create the right level of thinking or the feeling that will elevate you. And there were consequences for that. It was a good lesson. Um, I want you to take this time to really reflect on your attitude. Really reflect on it because it has the capacity to take you where you need to be. It's not just about passing and dribbling. It's not just about shooting. It's not just about running, you know, at high intensity and all those things. But that is not the, the full measure of your capacity to be great. Those things are necessary. But you have to go a bit deeper to understand every single factor and option options that will allow you to be where you want to be that is why it's so uncomfortable because you have to keep going you have to keep going and as you keep going you have to keep paying attention to the attitude that you have the thinking the feeling how useful is it? And then it is measured by your behavior. And what that behavior does is determine your outcome. So if you're not where you want to be today, you have not value, attitude, enough you have not figured it out you've got to grow and as i look at this and i said to myself well and for a bit i've been you know really Reflecting on me, reflecting on, on, on my own thinking and my, you know, looking at my own history and everything. And, you know, I believe in change. I believe in growth. So what you know of me yesterday, you could hold on to that. I've never been one to be comfortable. I didn't have that luxury, you know. And, and when you when you grow up in that where, you know, tomorrow is not, um, tomorrow, a lot of things, tomorrow is not promised to you. It is, you, you, you are unsure. There's a high level of uncertainty that the things that you desire, the things that are just basic needs, you might not get it tomorrow. It puts you in a different mindset. I don't know about you. I don't know your story. I don't know. But I can tell you from my perspective, I've never been one to be comfortable with where I'm at. Because that's, it's just, I've never been taught like that. I've never lived that life. The life that I, I've lived is more of a life of uncertainty. And it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Because it has taught me that there's always something else you can, you can get to. Your condition don't define you. It is your decisions that define you. The condition will be the condition, but it don't define you. 
it is your decisions. And, and it's all through these processes and all, all through the mishaps and, and, and the mistakes and the poor decisions and, and, and the relationships you've kept with people and all those things are all part of conditions. And if your condition have defined you or control what you're doing, you're in trouble. Because conditions are determining your decisions. And your decisions will either elevate or will demote. So when you start understanding that, that listen, you always, as, as long as you are living, there will be conditions. If you are comfortable right now, may I let you know that there's a season and a cycle in your life where all hell will break loose. So don't be misguided. And you will see. You will understand what I am saying. I am blessed to have this life. Because most of what I know is trials and tribulations. And I can tell you it's a now with this attitude, it's a it's a really fantastic thing. Some people have not known real trials and tribulations. And some people who have known trials and tribulations, they think they have come to a point where it is done. It is It is over. Well, I, I am here to submit to you with all humility and respect. Whatever joy and whatever peace you're enjoying right now, it is a cycle. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Whatever you think you're accomplishing, whatever you think you're winning, and whatever you think you have in your possession that, that makes you think that you are comfortable... Let me, let, let me inform you as a humble servant. It is just a cycle in your life. <laughs> as long as you are alive, you cannot escape it. When I figured that out, I created a roadmap. I created a roadmap to find my altitude, to find my growth. When I speak about altitude and elevation, I'm, I'm really bringing it around growth. Because you're gonna have to grow if you're going to, if you're going to succeed. I believe I have three key, key things that I that I've seen that is beneficial when you understand the value of your attitude to altitude. Three key things. And I want to share them with you because I believe it it will help someone somehow. Cause it got me excited about life. It got me excited about what can be achieved with the right attitude. There's some key benefits in the value of the attitude to altitude. The usefulness of, of a subtle way of thinking and feeling that is reflective in one's behavior that creates elevation. There is a capacity. There is so much, but I'm I'm only I'm only going to give you three tonight because we're not going to be here all night. Please do share. Please let me know that you're here. Please let me know your thoughts. Um, if this is a content that you believe is you know is impactful, please do share. Um, I covet that. Um, that we will continue to have uh, information and knowledge from, from those who can really 
improve our lives. And as we continue to do this, it, it's it's beyond me. It's the message of of that can transform lives, transform our young people, and even in some cases um, restore uh, our young adults, even the older folks. You know, while we focus on our young people, it's not limited to that. Wherever the message can go to bring about transformation, we are we are we are happy to do that. Well, before I share these three key things and and and, and get out of here, um, I want to 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 share our R and K just clean um, learning corner that we continue to 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 shed light on this aspect of the game where you know many coaches talk about it uh, and which is much more priority now players ability to read and understand and to be able to make in game these tactical decisions there's one where you you understand that you have the knowledge of the game but then there's an in game uh, tactical awareness and understanding that you need that um, it's, if it's not easily coach, then it's not easy for players uh, to be able to do it because, you know, coaches are responsible uh, for having that influence uh, to move in players from where they are to where they need to be. So we believe this learning corner is, is important. And as we continue to grow and continue to understand um, and, and continue to share, we are hoping and praying that it become even more a priority for, for our young players, even our uh, older players, to see value in understanding and having a high level of game intelligence, not just from a knowledge perspective, but from an in-game uh, perspective. So we'll jump into those three things. Don't go nowhere. It is still time to invite someone into this live podcast so that they can have um, so they can have an opportunity to 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 trans to transform their attitude and to become a person who's heading in the right direction. So quick interruption and then we will get back um, to these these three key things. These are 11 and 2 in this case, they are wing backs. So your full backs can deal with their wing backs in this case. Now, your approach in, in terms of how you pressure is vital. Your, the direction in, in how you pressure is crucial to um, how effective this can be because as you can see, 1v1 can be very dangerous, like we spoke about um, in, our early, um, in, a, in an earlier learning corner where it takes away the coverage. So what you can do is you want to force the opposition to play whatever side you want to force them to. But once this ball is played, you want to force them to the inside because the numbers are even in the middle where you can change your mark. So you can, first you mark and then you change your mark. That means moving from man to man to marking and closing the space. So in this Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. Kayo Day here. We are about to bring the curtains down on this show the value of attitude to altitude. Um, you know, like I said, I created a roadmap um, for myself and I wanted to share share it with you um, and, and based around the understanding how important it is for me uh, to pay attention to my own attitude. And is it one that it's leading um, to a more elevated um, outcome 
or one that is keeping me in 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 a space where I'm not really reaching my full full capacity. And one of the things about you know valuing attitude to altitude and what it produces, um, one one of the benefits of it is strength. And I know it sounds like a simple thing, but when I when I look when I really look at uh, you know what strength and what it it really means, um, and and when you and you define it from uh, a, a, a physiological standpoint, we know it's how much force you can exert through resistance. So when people talk about strength, you know they put if we add muscle strength today, but I am using it from a perspective of if you are in soccer and and, and they, they're talking about strength is how much force from my perspective how much force you can exert when there's resistance hmm. something to think about because this they, they you know they start one thing and 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 they, they think they're really focused and then something something in there goes wrong and they're like oh I need to no I need to go somewhere I need to do this and, and I need to do that and and I have to understand that that is part of that's part of your elevation you have to stay there you have to you have to understand you have to you have to build you have to build yourself up In all of these, in all these variables here, you have to, you have to understand it. I am telling you. If you are clear about your purpose, you have to stay. You have to have that stay in power. You have to have that focus. You can't let one thing deter you. That is not focus. Or you cannot let one thing say, well, oh, I got it all figured out. No, you haven't. You know you haven't. I'm telling you. I am telling you. With all due respect, I'm telling you. You have not figured nothing out. Nothing out. Number three. Then, then, I'm, then I'm out of here. Final one. The most important one to me said, this is my roadmap. I believe in it. I am wholly and true to it. If you believe it, try it. See what happens. Reflect on your attitude. Reflect. Reflect on your thinking and your feeling. And then look at your behavior. Where is it taking you? I add one more thing there. Is it it's where it's taking you? Is it is it within their purpose? Are you sure? And the greatest benefits that you can have with understanding the value of attitude to altitude is the will. <laughs> the will. I love this one. The will for me is to have discipline. It's not something easy. Discipline to me is to consistent is to be consistent with what you do based on your desired outcome. Based on your desire, desired outcome, you must consistently do those things. The value of attitude for you. Will don't come from God. You cannot pray for will. Will is your own decisions. You know, Be, today I put before you good and evil. Choose this day. That is on us. <laughs> you cannot pray for will. 
You cannot ask God to give me the will. No, 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 no. No, you cannot. You cannot do nothing. You, The will is your own ability to make the right or the wrong decisions. It's up to you. You have to choose. This is why it's based on your desired outcome. What is it you want in life? Valuing the right attitude, valuing the attitude that will elevate you, or to the, the right, the, the valuing the attitude to altitude, establish a will. You know, I oftentimes tell players when you're in competition, that person is trying to take your will. That person is trying to make you decide that you're not good enough. You're not strong enough. You're not good enough. This is competition. Someone is trying to take your will. And if you don't decide, if you don't decide, they will decide for you. Because now you're unstable. You don't know what to do, so they will decide for you. And oftentimes that's how you fail or you lose because someone would have taken your will. Don't know how you feel about that. I think sometimes I said earlier, we don't understand the importance of tribulations. We don't understand the importance of testing. Those things are building our will. You know, it's sad to see that, you know, people see challenges and tribulations as a negative thing. Now more than ever, the more, the, 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 the in any instant, when there's a challenge, when there's a testing, when things make people uncomfortable, they quickly, you know, in some cases, yes, there's extreme, there's extreme to everything. I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying when based on what you want to achieve, the challenge is within there, the testing is within there. And instead of you try to understand it and figure it out, your, your first action is this is not a place to be. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, stay, I'm not saying to stay in all manner of a situation excuse me, that is not within the confinements of what is, why you're there and what you want to achieve. That is not what I am saying. I am saying within within the environment that you're in, there must be tribulations and challenges and testings to provide you with the will. And if you neglect that, you neglect the ability to develop the will. I believe that finding your strength, somebody asked a great question there. I believe finding your strength is the most important thing. Because once you find your strength, you, you, you focus within the capacity that is needed to build your strength. It obviously overcomes whatever areas you might be struggling in. Because you, you, you're on this earth because of your purpose. And your purpose is your strength. Your purpose is not your weakness. Your purpose is your strength. And a lot of times, can I tell you, whatever you're struggling with, that you're constantly falling down in that area, that area is actually your strength. But like I said, there's always a resisted force towards your strength. There's never a resisted force towards your weakness. The things that you're struggling with, may I submit to you, 
is actually your strength. And when you're able to overcome that thing, you'll see how your life elevates. But you must understand your purpose to understand that. And to understand your purpose, you must be aligned. You must be aligned with that person who bestowed such a privilege on you. I say to you though, it is important to find your strengths and then build the capacity, build your focus to reach that outcome. We look at these challenges and tribulations too many times from a negative perspective. And I know it, it's the world we live in, in, you know. The world is filled with so much mistrust and and so much scams and and, and everything just seems to be a lie. And, and nobody don't know what to trust. That somebody could tell you what you have, what what they think you have, because they believe you are what everybody is, because that's the world now. The, the world is full of fake people. The world is full of that. This is why there's all these filters, because you could filter every single thing and look unreal. You don't even want to, you don't even want to look yourself anymore. You don't even want to. You could even filter your voice to sound a certain way. You could filter everything. So this fake world, the fake world that we create in, now everybody thinks everybody fake. So now it's, it's, it's the situation we're in. It's the situation we're in. Someone will look at you and tell you what you, what you have and what you don't have. Who you are and who you're not. And, and all these things because we we we're we're in, we're, in, we're in this mess i call it a mess it's a difficult one sad to see can i tell you no at 45 my tolerance and discipline for exercising is not the same at 17. It's, it's not. It's not. But I have to check that. I started paying attention to the value of attitude. And at 17, I'm playing. I'm I'm I, I want to I want to be there. I want to achieve something. At 45, I don't want, I just want to do what I want to do. But that's the wrong attitude. Because without good health, I'm missing a component to fulfill this purpose. So now I'm losing focus. Because I believe I could just, you know, you, you can stop believing, you could just go put on cones and you could study and, and you could learn the game and you could go and do courses. But what about your health? Your health is important. So I had to get moving. Because if I don't get moving, now I'm not focused. It don't matter how many times I come in and prepare sessions and have a good plan and, and development plan and, and, and all these things and analysis. And, but now I'm not taking care of my health. I'm not, I'm not exercising. I'm not training. I'm not doing none of those things. No, that is not focus. It's the full capacity that allows you to fulfill for the desired outcome that you have. It now gives you the will. It gives you this discipline, strength, focus, will. Strength, focus, will. Once I start paying attention, to the value of my attitude to altitude, 
I had to I had to make a decision that I will have the will. That means I will have the discipline to get up and start running. <laughs> Where is your will? Have you lost your will? Have you lost your discipline because of someone else? Because of how you were treated? Don't justify. It is not a good excuse or a good reason. You will stay where you are. You will not grow, you will not elevate. Unfortunately, I see a lot more. I see a lot more than we want to believe. You know, young people are struggling with their will. They're struggling with it. We have to understand the importance of tribulations and testing. We have to. Uh, so, a, so our attitude toward negative things don't stop us. Sometimes I put athletes through uh, some hard times, both psychologically and physically. And I want to break their will. I want to. I'm telling you. I, un I understand the cost. I understand the cost. But also, I understand the advancement. So I'm going to try and break your will because I tried to break my own will many times. I had, to, I had to know, do you really want to do this? Do you really want to do this? Do you really think this is what you love? By God's grace, no one could push me in that way. I push myself. Frankly, no one didn't really even care. So I understand the risk. But there's a reward for going through tribulation and testing. Responsible one too. Oh, might, might, I, might I add? Responsible psychological pressure and physical pressure to test your will. You're never going to, to win unless you have a will. Your will is your discipline. You keep going based on your desired outcome. You are consistent. I, have to, I, I can tell you, I break, I've broken many people's will. Sadly, it is not a joy. Finally, I will tell you this. This is why this is important. And if if you if you're a believer or not, I will encourage you to go and read the Amplified uh, chapter in James, James verse two and twelve, and see how important it is to go through tribulation and testing, because there's a crown. There's a victor's crown that is promised when you are able to stand the test of times. That is will for you. <laughs> Imagine to wear a victor's crown is the ability to have the will. You want to win. You want to succeed. But you want to be in an environment where your will is not tested. How? How? <laughs> you don't have, you don't understand the true measure of value of the attitude to altitude. Because you refuse to test your will. What a great benefit to understand.
as you move into this new year, this new cycle of life, there might be challenges ahead. But remember the true might, the true value of attitude to altitude. Excuse me. The usefulness of settled thinking and feeling that is reflective in your behavior that creates elevation. There is a strength there, the capacity to have strength and understand the value of your attitude to altitude. There is a focus there. And finally, there's a will there that you will never lose. You will never lose. I hope to one day hear that someone said, I tried this and I'm I'm at peace. I am I'm going to I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep believing. I'm gonna keep fighting. I will do it responsibly, obviously. Because I understand this is my purpose. I understand whatever that is. I might be talking to a soccer player, but I might be talking to someone who might not, who might be stuck and don't know what is happening. I subscribe this to you. I challenge, I have challenged myself. Maybe. Maybe. I believe it in my heart. Not just maybe, I believe it in my heart that if you can challenge and really focus on the the value of the attitude to altitude and know the full capacity of it, you will succeed. I leave you with blessings, with favor. And to our young people, continue to grow, continue to desire to grow, continue to desire feedback, continue to desire challenges, rid yourself from comfort and entitlement, but desire to have the full measure of your life, the full, to have fulfillment in your life. to maximize your greatness. Stay blessed, be encouraged, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Happy New Year and be blessed. Now is the time to keep your family warm with quality insulation for your home from Pro Insulation Company. At Pro Insulation, we solve all your residential and commercial insulation needs. Attics, crawl spaces, walls and ceilings, new and existing homes, and we offer traditional insulation and spray foam. Call Pro Insulation Company today for your free in-home estimate for all your insulation needs. Leave it to the pros and call Pro Insulation Company in Plainfield today.